Hello, I am Lana and this is Sergi, my husband. Hi. What are we doing? We are here today to talk about um, HCCT. So the first question that most of people would ask obviously is what it is. So um, there is a new clinical trial in the United States called HSCT. Um, it's a long name. What does it stand for? Long. Um, it's long. Harvest of stem. Harvest of stem cells, basically. Let's put it this way. So people who have immune systems that's attacking them, it's rebooting your immune system. So imagine it's kind of like you rebooting your computer, except way better. So this stem cell transplant, what it does, it's... Um, not only does it reboot your system, you basically get new stem cells. They literally clean them up and they get new stem cells. So that's really quick. The point of reference, the stem cells are yours. The stem cells are mine. This is They yes. are using my own stem cells. They're not from somebody else. They're not. There's no controversial things there. No. Okay, so um, that being passed us, you just went through the first stage yeah. of the HCCT. Well, you kind of still go in for it, but yes. the first major step in done. Right. So could you tell us what it is? So the first stage, I arrived here in Chicago, where the clinical trial is at, and um, they, as they call it, as they nuke me with uh, cytoxin, which is chemo. Um, there's different types of chemo out there. Um, patients with cancer receive different types of chemo. They're, they're different strengths. This is a very strong type of chemo, a one dosage and you lose your hair kind of thing. And I just noticed yesterday my hair is falling out. I am blessed with a lot of it, so it's still there. But um, like so, yeah. <laughs> so um, they nuke you with chemo. Um, it lowers your immune system. And I feel what basically what chemo Patients would feel, um, I am nauseated. I'm very nauseated. Um, I thought I felt good all day. I actually, I lost my appetite and I got my appetite back today. And I had a little bit to eat and then I had some chocolate and now I want to barf it out. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> so I, I don't feel good now, very weak, um, very weak and body aches. Um, my scalp itches, but I'm guessing that's maybe a sign of the hair coming out. So they nuke you with chemo, they do steroids, and the reason they do steroids is because when they nuke you with chemo, your immune system goes down and you're very vulnerable. So to balance it out, and I believe they do it for cancer patients as well, they bounce it out with steroids. So very high dosage of chemo and very high dosage of steroids. And then they let you go. Um, so I basically get to live through this nastiness for a little bit, a couple of days. And then um, comes in the other stage, I suppose. And the other stage is um, starts tomorrow for me. I get these prescription. And basically this is... This is shots. This is medication. And uh, maybe you can see it's called Nupagen. And I get to inject myself two of these into my stomach at 7 o'clock in the morning. This will make stem cells, new stem cells, grow. So they're looking for as many stem cells as possible. At least, they want to collect at least 2 million. Some people have more. So they're basically giving me this shot so I can inject myself, grow extra stem cells, because next Thursday they will take out my stem cells. In how many days? Six days. Right? Can I do my math? Maybe? Six days. So <laughs> in six days they will put me on this machine that separates plasma and the stem cells it actually takes your blood back into you and keeps the stem cells separately. So I will have bags of these stem cells. So they will do that. And my, this is when my plate, I can English, plate, platelets. my platelets will fall, my leukocytes will fall. And the, that's where I am highest at the risk for infection. 
So I will need to stay away from crowds, salad bars, buffets, I don't know, sick people. Um, so maybe wear a mask when I need to wash your hands all the time. Ask everybody around me to wash their hands. Um, I will be in Dallas for about a week and I will be very happy to see those that will come over. I will just ask you, no, I won't even ask, I'm telling you, you're going to go straight to the restaurant and wash your hands. <laughs> So, um, wash, washing hands, staying away from people, you know, which is very tricky because I'm a mom and my child goes to school and he's going to come back bringing in the world from school into the house. So just need to be careful, but that's the first stage. How did I do? Um, well, we kind of did I? went too far. Yes. The... The idea. <laughs> so the um, the first thing that we asked, and the first thing that we were worried about is how much exposure after the first step of chemo you can have. Mm -hmm. And yes, we've been giving some instructions, but basically the whole salad bar thing is the first thing, starting right away. So. No food joints where somebody can touch your food. Well, somebody other than people who cook it. Parents, yeah. Yes, and um, just basically no salad bars. Yeah, fresh produce is kind of very fresh produce. Very fresh produce. Um, I take my temperature twice a day just to make sure I'm not running a temperature. If I have hundred and five, I need to be in the emergency room. Thirty-eight Celsius. Thirty-eight Celsius. So, um, but otherwise, it's just, uh, it's just everyday things, just feeling yeah. really, really nasty. Um, it's, it, oh, I am very edgy too. <laughs> um, there are some medications that she will take while doing all this stuff mm -hmm. to basically boost the production of the stem cells. The stem cells. Um, the, no, it's, there's some other stuff that you have Yes, to they take. will give me extra medications there's, besides the shots. There are things in the cupboard to be taken. Very nauseous. I'm sorry. Um, yes. Um, the, there are no predictions on how appetite behaves because she doesn't eat much and they have to force it down sometime. And um, other people apparently can I lost eat. over four pounds. Yes, she's <laughs> I mean. And other people are not quite Everybody's there. different. Yeah, yes. there are some people that after the chemo, they get swollen, which I'm pretty sure I'm swollen too, but I did lose my appetite. There's people that don't lose their appetite in the because we're all different. So, yeah. but I I have lost my appetite. So the the next thing is to grow the stem cells. Stem cells. Stem. <laughs> I can't see this. Sorry. Um, and how are they going to extract it from you? They will hook me up to a machine. How are they going to hook you up to a machine? They will in my um, English. What is the polymer? Jaguar. My, my jaguar. In my they will put they will put um, a tube into my jaguar vein that goes all the way to my heart. And that's where they will take plasma from that will separate stem cells and the blood. What? Blood and separate plasma and stem yeah, cells. Yeah, blood separates plasma and stem cells. Just, let's avoid I'm not a doctor. I know, but let's avoid confusing people even more than okay. I would be confused. And um, so the other question that everybody asks is what if they take too much? Can they take too much? So that is actually, I, I still don't have a clear answer on that. Um, if they take more than 2 million stem cells, because some people will have more than 2 million stem cells. Um, basically, you have different bags. You have separate bags. You have two, three, four bags. I don't know. Um, I've heard that they give you all stem cells back, and I've heard that they keep some stem cells just in case you have to repeat the procedure. Uh, what about the blood infusions? Do you need the blood infusions? Chances are most people will need at least one blood infusion after 
they take out your stem cells. No? That's not what we've been told. Like what were we told? We were told that you actually will not because they put in all the exceeding blood back. Oh, um, no, 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 you're right. They, I will not need a blood infusion. The blood infusion is when they actually put the stem cells back correct, in you. Correct. So, basically, they're taking the stuff yeah. in the machine. I'm, I'm just, I'm sorry, I'm just trying to get it straight. So you're more. good. Um, they will give you additional calcium while you're in the machine if you need to, and most of people will need to. Yes. Because they extraction all this stuff. But essentially, you are sitting on the machine. Uh, we've been told that she can do whatever she wants while sitting there attached to the gun machine that extracts all the stuff. She can read. We'll take pictures of it. We'll post. Yes, we will we'll post more pictures. We'll probably have a video about it. Okay. Well, that's... In interview with the machine. All right. Well, I think that pretty much but, covers it. It's yes, that well. covers the first step. All right. So I hope you hear at least some answers to the regular questions that we, I know we had some so okay we decided to put it together so that's it goodbye Adios. thank you bye